Alrighty, so in this video, we're going to be going over the system requirements for uh, Sons of the Forest. And as you can see, they're right here. And we're not, I'm not just going to be telling you them because, I mean, that wouldn't really be, really be helping you out because you could just read them yourself. Uh, instead, I'm going to be sort of explaining them to you, explaining them what all these, what all of this means and to help you better understand what or if your computer will be able to run in this game. So before we get started, a like is always appreciated, and make sure you get subscribed for more Sons of the Forest content coming uh, in the near future when this game does release. And with that out of the way, let's get started. So let's first start off with the things that don't really change between the between the uh, minimum system requirements and the recommended system requirements, and that would be the storage. It's 20 gigabytes, which I thought that was pretty low for a, a game of what's, what, what I think is pretty big. So, I mean, that's cool. And then also it says you should have an SSD, or it's preferred to have an SSD for this game. And that kind of goes for pretty much every modern day game. Um, there are, or actually, no, pretty much every game is going to run better on a SSD. You're going to have much better load times and all that. So uh, just get an SSD because they're not too expensive nowadays. And also the OS or operating system doesn't change between them. It's Windows 10 or Windows 11. It works too. All right, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of all this, the processor, memory, and graphics. And we're gonna start off on the minimum requirements first. Uh, let's do memory first, cause that's the simplest one. It's uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, there's not much to explain here. Do you, if you, either you have that much or more or you don't. So um, yeah, 12 gigabytes of RAM. That's not bad, not bad at all. I'd say most people nowadays have uh, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. And I think that's kind of the bog standard nowadays, but uh, yeah, let's do the processor next. Uh, we're looking at a Intel Core i5-8400 and the Ryzen 3 3300X. And the 3300X is a 4-core, 8-thread CPU that turbos up to 4.3 gigahertz. And the uh, i5-8400 I, I is a 6-core, six 6-thread six CPU. Now, if you're wondering why this one, the threads, is the same as the cores, and then this one, the threads are double the cores, that's because this CPU has hyper threading. And that's basically where the threads are double of whatever the cores are. So in this case, it's four cores, which means it has eight threads. And this one doesn't have hyper threading, so the hyper threading, so the cores are the same, or no, threads are the same as the cores. So yeah, now, now you know. <laughs> and now what I'd like you to do is just go into your task manager and see how many cores and threads and that your CPU has and whatever its max boost clock is, and just see how it compares to these to see if you can run the game. So. I mean, obviously, if you have like an eight-core, sixteen-thread CPU, or even like a six-core, twelve-thread CPU, you're 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 chilling. You're fine. <laughs> but if you have a lower-end CPU, I would definitely take a look at whatever its specs are and see how they compare to these to make sure that you can run the game. And yeah, now let's move on to the graphics cards, which is a GTX 1060 three gigabyte and an AMD Radeon RX 574 gig. Now uh, it's always great to see a GTX 1060 in the minimum system requirements. Because even though the GPU, or even though that GPU is about, uh, I think it's six years old now, uh, it's still one of the most popular GPUs that people use nowadays. So uh, it's always great to see it on the minimum requirements. Now, to give you a better understanding of if your GPU will be able to run this game, uh, I'm going to use this uh, the website called Tech Power Up, where they have this relative performance graph, which is basically where you can see how the performance of other GPUs stack up against the GPU that you're looking at, which in this case is a uh, GTX 1060. And as you can see, we have the GTX 1060 right here, and uh, or I think right down here, yep, right here we have the RX 570. So pretty much any GPU in this range right here, you're, you're, you're fine. You can probably run the game as long as your CPU also is close to the requirements too. But yeah, anything in this range right here, you're probably chilling. Um, maybe even a little bit below it. Like, uh, maybe, maybe you have one of the new Arc GPUs, the Arc A380. Um, that's getting pretty low, but you could probably still run the game. But yeah, anything in this range, you're probably you're probably fine. So yeah, and obviously anything above it, you're doing even better. So yeah. All right, I think that'll about do it for the minimum system requirements. So let's move on to the recommended system requirements. And let's start off with memory first. Um, we have 16 gigs of RAM. You know, that's kind of the, the standard nowadays. Um, yeah, that's not much else to say. You got 16 gigs of RAM or you don't. So, or you maybe have more. I don't know. But uh, let's do GPUs first this time. Uh, in this case, we're looking at a uh, GeForce. I think they forgot the GTX here. 
Um, it would be a GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, let's head over to this chart and then see if we can find it. Um, it'll probably be pretty pretty far above the... Okay, maybe not this far. Ah, there it is, right there. So if you have anything, once again, in this range, or actually, hold on, let's take a look at the um, AMD version. Uh, we have the RX 5700 XT, which is, oh, right here. So yeah, anything in this range, maybe you have an RK 770, you're, you're, you're chilling. RTX 3060, you know, you're chilling too. Obviously, once again, anything above it, you're doing even better. Uh, let's see where my GPU is actually. I have a 3070 which is right here. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely chilling 137%, or that, that'd be 37% faster than a uh, 1080 Ti. But yeah, just take a look around here and see if you can see your GPU. And obviously anything below it or anything between actually a GTX 1080 Ti and a uh, GTX 1060, you can run the game. Just the better GPU you have, the better graphics you'll be able to use in the game. So yeah. That's about it for the GPUs. Let's move on to the CPUs, which actually I need to go search these up so I know how many cores and threads they have. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> All right, now for the processors, we have an Intel Core i7 8700K and a Ryzen 5 5600X, or 5300X, my bad. Um, and these are both six core, 12 thread CPUs, as you can see. And this the AMD one does boost up to about 4.4 gigahertz and the Intel one boosts up to 4.7 gigahertz. Now, Tech Power Up doesn't have one of these relative performance charts for CPUs, so it'll be it'll be hard for me to give you um, like a like a, a good comparison to uh, CPUs close to the ones that they're mentioning in the system requirements. But either way, just go into like your task manager and see what your uh, CPU specs are. If they're close to this or even just a little bit under, or hopefully over what the system requirements are, um, then you're you're chilling. You're you're chilling. Like for me, I have a Ryzen 5 5600X, which is basically the same CPU as this, just it gets up to a, a little bit higher boost clock. Um, so for me, I'll, I'll I'll be chilling too. So maybe you have like a, a newer Intel CPU, like an i7 10700K or um, 9700K or something like that. You should be chilling as well. Uh, maybe you have like a Intel Core i5 10600K or something like that. You'll you'll be chilling too. That's once again a, uh, a six core 12 thread CPU. But uh, yeah, that should about do it for the system requirements for Sons of the Forest. I hope this video helped you out, helped you understand these requirements just a bit better and gave you a better understanding of whether or not you'll be able to run this game or not. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then hey, drop a like down below and get subscribed for more Sons of the Forest content in the future. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.